Hello and welcome to our 17th video. Okay, today's topic is if clauses. It's grammar. If clauses are used to talk about something that is a possibility in the future. Here we have an example. If I finish my homework, Early, I will play video games. This kind of conditional sentence is called the first conditional. We check this topic before we stop going to the school. I hope you remember. And if you don't remember, you can continue watching the video. A conditional sentence describes the result of a certain situation, and it has two parts. The first one is called a clause, or also con is called condition or situation. After the if clause, we have the comma. This is very important because the comma is going to separate the if clause and the main clause. As you listen, the second part is called the main clause or also the result or the consequence. There are two ways to write a conditional sentence. The first one is started with if the condition then the result or the second option that we have is the result if and then we have the condition if you notice in the second option we don't have a comma why because if is acting as a comma if is separating the two clauses the result and the condition and in the first sentence yes we need a comma we have the if or the condition comma plus the main clause or the result. Here we have an example. Come on, John. If we study hard, we'll do well in the test. We use it, we use the first conditional to say that. When one thing happens, another thing becomes a possibility. For example, if we study hard, we'll do well in the test. The second part, the result, it's a possibility. It's, it has a high chance to happen, but it's not 100% to happen. Here we have the structure. If you remember, we have two ways to write a conditional sentence. The first one is started with if, then we have the subject, the verb in present simple, our complement, the comma, that it's very important. Then again, we are going to have another subject, will or won't, depending, will positive, won't negative, and the verb in the base form, then we have our complement. Now, the second option, if we start with the result, first we are going to have the subject, will or want, the verb in the base form, our complement, then if, then another subject, the verb in present simple, and the complement. And here we have some examples. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll go to the beach. If you notice, present simple, but now it's in our negative form. And you know that if we use a negative form of the present simple, we are going to need the auxiliary verb doesn't or don't according to our subject. Then we have will go. Will plus the verb in the base form. Second example, if we hurry up, we'll have more free time. The first part in the if clause, present simple, 
and in the result we have will have. Now here we have a short exercise and we have the instructions. Complete with the correct form of the verb. Okay, and even the first one we have if we talk in the bus, we need to use start and come. Start in the if clause and come in the result clause. So, so in the first one it's start. If we start talking, the boss will come. You have to remember in the in the if clause we need the present simple. If we start and in the result clause or in the main clause, it's will plus the verb in base form. If we start talking, the boss will come. In the second one, now we start with the result, he angry, and then we have the condition, if you, him. And we need to use the verb to be, and now the negative form, not tell. So we have, he will be angry if you don't tell him. Now we have the result, so we have to use will plus the verb in base form. The base form of the verb to be is be, and then we have in the condition or the if clause, we, have, we need the present simple, so we have don't tell. In this case, we need the auxiliary verb don't because we need a negative form. Number three, it says, if I eat right, eat down, I eat, and we have not right and not remember. So in both, we need the negative form. In the first part, we need the simple present, and in the second part, we are going to need will plus the base form. So we have, if I don't write it down, I won't remember it. Negative, present simple, negative with will. Okay, in number four, we have a question. And we start with the result. So in the beginning, we need will. And in the second part, we are going to need the present simple. We have, will you call me if you get any news? In this case, we are going to use first will because it's a question. So we have will, the subject, and the verb in base form. Right? Number five, we have Andrea, if she heart. Again, we start with the result and then we have the condition. And both the verbs are in negative, not pass and not study. So we have Andrea won't pass if she doesn't study hard. Negative won't. And in this case, doesn't because the subject is third person, she. Now, the last one, we have, if you heard nicely, she, you. Now, we start with the condition and then we have the result. And we have both verbs in positive, ask and help. So, we have, if you ask her nicely, she will help. Right? Present simple, will plus the verb in base form. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this video can help you to remember the topic and see you soon.